Hey George, this is Jeff with Zucker Marketing. Thank you so much for making time to talk with Eric. And as promised, here's your website analysis. So we'll be going over some few things that can actually help you rank higher, bring you more traffic, and of course, get you more customers. So let's go ahead and start off with your website. You actually have a pretty good looking website. You have your logo here. You have call to action, good photos, nice layout, and good amount of content. So there's actually just some few other things we're going to talk about first to get you on top of the search list. One thing I can tell you right off the bat is that Google loves content. Google would actually like to see a minimum of 1500 words on a homepage. And in addition to this, the more content you'll have, the more you'll look like an expert in Google's eyes. So of course, if you want to beat out the competition, you would like to have 1500 words or more. So let's go ahead and do a quick count just for us to see how many words you have on your homepage. So currently you have 761 words, not a bad number. However, we're still quite behind with the goal of 1500. So one of our main goals now would be adding more words to your homepage. That way, Google will actually consider us as a more trustworthy website. So another thing I would like to talk about as well are keywords. Google is actually looking for keywords. It's looking for what the site should be found for. So if you have the exact words listed multiple times on your website, you're going to be really relevant for that search. And of course, Google is going to be willing to put you higher in the results. So I actually did a quick search of the roofers in your area. We'll be talking more about the results that we have here. Starting off with the first one. So this is what we call the map pack. This is actually something where you really would like to be on since these are the ones that generates a lot of traffic, a lot of attention, and are easier to find. One way for you to be here is you'll need to have Google My Business profile where you'll enter as much information as possible, like the company name, phone number, email, company address, hours of operation, photos, and so on and so forth. And also, if you add those same information in as many directories as possible, that will also help you a lot to appear in the map pack faster. Moving on to the next part, these are now what we call the organic searches. So when customers search, you know, um, these are actually the website that ranks higher without people paying for any ads just because they're doing some certain things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about and analyze. So I actually pulled up one of your top competitors' website. We'll see what they're doing differently and we'll check on the numbers later. So looking at their website, they also have a good looking website. They have their logo at the top, pretty good photos, a nice layout, good amount of contents as well. So let's dig deeper with the numbers. Um, so this is Ahrefs, one of the pay tools that we're using for us to have some more information on the back end of your website. We'll be talking more about the numbers. So let's start off with DR. So this would be the level of trust that Google has in your website and UR would be the strength of your website. Backlinks on the other hand, this or other website that refers to your website. So they're like shoutouts from different directories like Yellow Pages, Yelp, and alike. I also have your competitor's website pulled up on another window. We'll be discussing the numbers for their website and we'll compare and see what they have differently. So looking at the R and UR first, it actually shows that Google finds their website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. Although you have more backlinks um, than what they have, the only thing is they have more keywords which actually gave them more traffic. So let's go ahead and talk more about keywords and backlinks and let's discuss the importance of this too. Starting off with backlinks or what we call you know the referring domains let me just wait for my screen to load up here all right so starting off with backlinks or what we call the referring domains so as you can see these are all the directories they're listed on that actually brings them a lot of attention and a lot of traffic that's why they're currently ranking so high in the searches and Next would be the organic keywords. So these are all the keywords they have listed on their website. So when customers search for these specific words, their website will show on top of the list. And if you also look at the numbers under volume, these are all the hits or clicks that they're getting per month with the help of this keyword. So one good example of a great keyword would be roof repair, uh, roof repair near me, 
which actually generated 19,000 clicks out of the keyword. So that's how important in choosing the right keyword is. That way more customers will be able to find your website easier and quicker. Another thing I would like to share about keywords is what we call the hidden keyword. So let's go ahead and use this photo as an example. So if we save this photo and instead of naming it with a generic file name, you can actually rename it with a hidden keyword. And you can also do the same thing with the other photos you have here. That way you'll have more keywords added to your website. And not only that, for those words, of course, to not to be repetitive as well. So just to wrap things up, the most important things that we can definitely do to improve your ranking would first be the amount of content wherein we're going to add more words to your homepage. That way, Google will consider your website a more trustworthy website and a stronger website. Next would be the backlinks wherein we're going to add your information to as many directories as possible like on uh, you know, Yelp, Yellow Pages, and all those directories. That way, we can bring you more traffic. And of course, the higher chances of your website to appear in the map pack as well. And last but not the least would be the keywords where we're going to help you out in choosing the right keywords. That way, more customers will be able to find your website faster and easier. So that's actually all that I have for now. If you have any further questions, please feel free to call us or email us back so that we can actually tell you the next steps and the other things that we can do. Thank you so much for your guys' time. You all have a wonderful day. Bye.